Hi everybody, here's Christian, and I am from Timor Cast. And you've engaged a snare. And his name is Putty, and he's snaring your heart. Mm, oh man, you are, I am so completely ensnared. Uh, and this is the 2nd of May. This is Highlander Games in Dortmund uh, Regional. Uh, this is uh, the top eight playoffs, and we are in a fun bracket. Uh, uh, we saw our, my first game against Prop Joe that didn't go so well, but now I'm playing against Karsten, and let's see about that. I am playing ETF now, and the fun, and I'm playing the hedge fund immediately. Karsten is playing the uh, noise, so my ability is going to be I'm going to get a credit the first time I install something, and noise will mill a card from the top of my R&D every time he installs a virus nick. So what are these tokens this guy is using? He uses the Team Covenant uh, aluminium tokens. Mm. And we see uh, uh, I am installing a card on an HQ. I am hedge funding and installing a card in a server. So I'm leaving R&D open for uh, Carson to Ooh, exploit mean. fully with the medium here, man. Uh-oh, bro. Uh-oh. So um, one card gets milled because medium is a virus and he sees two cards. And three cards. I'm thinking about this. He's thinking about this. Yes, he sees the third card. <laughs> There's no reason. And for this him. is the score. This is the project Vitruvius for him oh, right now. Oh God! Oh man, what, what a an furious opening! Furious game. That's a great opening. It and reminds I'm thinking me like, a little bit of a guy who is just playing prop Joe. <laughs> and we all know what happened to him. And then, of course, he knows exactly what I'm drawing. Uh, so uh, yeah, we're laughing about this because he kind of like predicts exactly what I'm drawing. Uh, I decide to install this, so I'm saying that I just do That's a Jackson. I'm drawing with a Jackson and coping to get through the maybe some of the cards that were on top here were actually um, uh, ice because I'm looking for the ice. <laughs> <laughs> and there's there's an, there's some kind of ice. Oof, oof, that was uh, that was close. Man, that's rough. And rough start. Rough start for HP here. I'm using the Altered Identity, which I got from FFOX. It's an identity that is uh, actually a Polish identity. Nice. I had wondered where that came from. I was like, oh, I need to go and find this. Well, it's, it looks uh, it's, it looks like a regular... Oh, man, he runs again. But he knows exactly that he I cannot rest this ice. Uh, and uh, so he gets to see all of those cards. This is looking really bad. He has a lot of excess eye. Yeah, but you're getting resources that eventually you'll be able to use, whereas he yep. is standing still. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I, I think I know what kind of uh, ice I installed in front of here, and this is really bad. He's getting credits instead. He decides not to run anymore. Yeah, because he uh, is poor uh, as hell. Yeah. He, uh, he, will, he sees all the things. I'm doing a purge now. Nice. So this, this is really good because he already saw all the cards in front uh, on uh, on R and D, and he knows exactly that they are um, uh, that these these are not agendas. So you know, running on a, on a, with a medium on there wouldn't won't help him actually because he will see the same cards he already saw before. And so I he then he installs the daily casts. I wonder what his podcast is about. Carson. Hmm. Pandas? Aluminium coins? Oh, probably. I mean, Carson has some really sweet gear. I see. I, I still don't... Uh, never mind. I won't say that because that is a controversial topic. About our tokens? I don't like... I don't like Team Covenant's tokens. I said it anyway. Yeah, yeah. You will You will see... You will see people getting furious in the, in the comment section. <laughs> uh, but I'm... I, I, I stand with... I stand with Nick. Do you hear that? The police were coming. Because yeah, of my the, opinion. The Team Covenant police is coming. Anyways, uh, I was icing up the archives, and I, I, I'm starting another thing in the, in, the, in the server here. I'm spreading my influence and expanding my board state. Meanwhile, Carson installs uh, the um, imp and milling another card here. Glad to see old noise sitting around, enjoying life. Uh, running on a Jackson and forcing me to uh, use a Jackson to actually get three cards back. And then he runs on the thing that he thinks is an Eve campaign. Indeed, it is an Eve campaign. The Eve campaign gets the imp. <laughs> Karsten is one of those fast players. Is he the... I don't know. We are both kind of really exhausted at this point. Yeah. And we are just taking it, you know, slow. 
I mean, Carson, the first round didn't also apparently go well for Carson because he's also in a fun bracket as I am. Ah, uh, the fun bracket. Mm, all right, and then I'm still getting the credits from the from the pet campaign. Pet campaign did me good, but I'm thinking the pet campaign will get the imp next turn. And then so install, install, and get a credit for the install. And then final I, click. I like the sinister nature of these card backs. Yeah. It's like everything could be a snare in HP. Yeah. I just ordered some Wotans and some pop up windows. I'm probably not going to use them anymore. They're really nice backs, and uh, every now and then it's kind of cool to have them, maybe for like for a tournament. Uh, but the problem is like they, they get used up very quickly. Yeah. I've, that's what I've heard a major complaint is that they are not made of good quality material I, I mean the problem is like for me like every sh every shield gets used up very quickly it's maybe because I have some very corrosive hands I don't know uh, we see the Aesop's Pawn Shop being installed and that Aesop's Pawn Shop uh, and now, now the pet campaign gets the imp uh, that Aesop's Pawn Shop will do some good but meanwhile there's an Eve campaign protected by an ice because I the last Eve campaign didn't go so well the all the sex bots you know oh, no were kidding were trashed by this um, evil runner, so I des <laughs> uh, we decided to put the next Eve campaign uh, behind some protection. Karsten is a social justice warrior. He was freeing those bots from their servitude. I'm thinking he's more anonymous hacking PSN. <laughs> hacking Pornhub. Oh, man. Oh, well, sec. What would we do without you? Hmm. And then doing a mandatory draw. Now, there's tokens on the Eve campaign. Each token is two credits. Mm-hmm. Drawing more cards. I'm thinking of using dice, actually. Oh, yeah. Getting the economy. Nice. I'm going to say say that there's these are the only operations that create money in my entire deck. I have also... I have an ending the fun deck that has no economy cards in it whatsoever. And I'm installing a card. Every time you install a card with ETF, the imp gets imped, uh, gets spawned. That's good. Mm-hmm. Grimoire. Ah, yeah, that's a nice, good install. We have almost everything that a uh, noise can need. Oh, even a cash. Oh, what, a, what up? Everything is going on. But you have essentially slammed the door shut. Well, you know, I, I have some feeble defenses everywhere, yes. But he's not testing those defenses, so they are no. working. I know he knows exactly what is in front of R&D. I can tell you that it's probably an uh, Heimdall 2.0 in front of R&D. Yeah. So he knows. So when I have over 11 credits, I think, then he probably shouldn't run on R&D. <laughs> Things might change, change if he gets out of David. Let's see about that. So I plug that hole to be just <laughs> perfectly sure. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Protecting. You just castled, sir. And uh, he um, pawns that. So the, um, he pawns the cash and that uh, daily cast runs out. Let's get a deja vu in there. What else you got in there? Nick, Nick, say it, say it. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have missed Netrunner entirely. Uh, I had to, oh, yeah. I had to go away Man, for a while. I think uh, Netrunner is in a really healthy state, and it was a healthy state in, in this um, in this tournament already. I think the Valley did a lot of good things. Generally, the Sense and Cycle did a lot of good things to yeah. Netrunner. I would agree entirely. I uh, I've actually been playing in person a lot more. I have not turned on Octagon in quite some time. All right, we see a second imp being installed. Now it has three tokens because of Grimoire, so now he can get uh, check those cards, and that is ooh encryption protocol. Aww. So we can now reveal that this is indeed a Valdemar HB. Ah, yeah, the new sensation that is sweeping the German meta, or it was sweeping the German meta at the time. Uh, so yeah, the encryption protocol gets the imp, and then he installs a uh, cache. So explain this. Uh, explain this. This. this Valdemar. Yeah. Valdemar was uh, from last uh, top eight was one of the players who uh, came in with an ETF deck that used some unusual cards like here encryption protocol and that just blew everybody away with uh, some very unusual choices one of them being encryption protocol the other thing is going to be an agenda that we might see at some point in the, during this game I'm not going to spoil it is it false lead is it false lead oh come on false lead you you ain't seen nothing yet uh, false, false lead is 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 for pussies what. Oh man, I am. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not going to dissing false seed. False seed is a good agenda, but but I was going to say that's... I am a cat indeed, sir. Mm. 
double icing that uh, thing that I installed here. And um, yeah. I really like these card bags. This is driving me crazy. All right, he finally decides to make me rest some stuff. I wish they were like uh, holographic. Yeah. So like as you were twisting them or whatever, you, the the snare would open. All right, so this is an IQ that I just rest. I think it's strength three. Yeah, it's three. Uh, so the IQ strength uh, is the strength, the number of cards I have in my hand. Nice. That's good ice. That's good ice, yeah. It's very flexible. It's very very painful to get through something like Adman. Mm -hmm. um, then he installs the wild side. Alt art wild side. Alt art ace of spawn shop. Alt art ID man. Carson is a man who you, has you taste. You German guys are pimped out beyond any measure of anybody that I've ever seen. And, and then the IQ gets the parasite. Um, it will survive for for a while here, but yeah. And meanwhile, the Adonis campaign gets uh, gets rest. So yeah, I'm g getting all the monies of my sexy bots. Your sexy bots. Ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. So let's see. Uh, I'm gonna actually exchange the monies because I am filthy rich, as you can tell already. My uh, economy is growing. Are like cray cray. So why, right here, this is ending the fun at their finest. They've created oh, yeah. male bots and female bots, and they're going to see if they can get them to create robots, robot babies. And then this is going to go from an android thing into a Battlestar Galactica thing. Oh, it's going to be crazy. Oh, man, there are 11 models. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so draw, mandatory draw, mandatory draw, installing something. And, but it'll uh, only make sense for one year, and then after that, it will slowly make less sense, and then you'll be like, "What's even happening?" And then I'm like, "Yeah, whatever, whatever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hedge fund even more." Up, look at me. I, I'm at 24 credits. That is a really good uh, number of credits to have, that is especially a lot. if there's, oh my God. If there is two sexy bots campaign already <laughs> rest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the uh, the glacier is growing. I'm loving it. I love the glacier so much. Still have three cards. I think that Parasite won't get some token now. They, we forgot this. Um, so uh, the um, the IQ is still not trash on archives. <laughs> All right, he wants to see the 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 stuff in here, and that is the Heimdall 2.0. Oof. Oof, oof! He he clicks twice, and now end the run. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so yeah, Heimdall is a good protection for the sexy bot. So bro, shit! Uh, yank yeah. the cord! Yank the we cord! Thought, we remembered the the parasite. So that's really good. Come on! I'm getting more cards because if I get cards, that IQ will survive, and of course, it gives me more strategical options. I think I think there is some. Um, some agendas in, uh, in archives, and I, I'm thinking I'm, I need uh, Jackson Howard soon. Yeah, I uh, I just purge virus counters right now. No, well, I can't because I already clicked for stuff. Oh, uh, well, that's what um, I would have done if I were you. <laughs> so. I'm just deciding to install something. Let me let him imp stuff. I have five cards on my hand, I think. Yeah. I love how every, the last two matches that I've seen from this tournament, I've seen Kaisa stuff all over the place. Yeah. When's the last time we've seen a deck that actually used those guys? I think Knight, yeah. Knight was really popular for a long Knight time. Knight is, is still popular, I think. Uh, or not as popular these days, but yeah. So we saw another encryption protocol, encryption protocol got imped. Um, Carson using us, using up his imps for cards that really don't give do him any good. Uh, at least do, don't do me much good. It just you know, Close. just makes trashing Shit. more expensive. Ooh. Um, but of course, if he uses his um, imp, it's so much less painful to a sub spawn shift. It. <laughs> All right, drawing cards like crazy, and this uh, parasite will soon eat through the through the IQ. So I'm playing. I'm deciding to get more money. Uh, 28 credits now, Nick. 28 credits. Nice. Oh, and now I'm installing that uh, that ice over. It won't uh, survive much longer, so it can just as well be replaced with something else. 
I think I would have had fun for it for a while. It gets to three counters, you purge. Three more counters, you purge. Yeah, I, I, I know. Purging slows me down. And I yeah. want to kind of, kind of expanding my board state. That's generally the idea with, uh, with Valdemar HP. Just keep oh. on expanding your board state. <laughs> Running on that uh, server. And that is the... Uh, the Architect, of course, now I can install a card from the top five cards of my deck. And there's probably something I can, I want I think to install. I saw Jackson. Yeah, Jackson would be great because I can unjuice use to Jackson immediately. Uh, and then I'm getting credit for it installed and I'm looking through my hand or my card pile because I, uh, my um, this card pile because I can install something from my HQ or my archives. Um, nothing I want to have from HQ right now, but I think archives, uh, we're going to see some installs. Huh, thinking about this, he still has one imp out, so if I install something unprotected, he can just imp it. Alright, and just decide to ice up that server. Nice. Uh... And there's actually nothing in it. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say you're looking through it. I didn't see any agendas at all. Oh man, I was actually, uh, I was actually, um, you know, it pretended that there's something in here <laughs> to make him kind of like chase his own tail. You know, Karsten, this is where I think you should have given Christian the finger. And that is the Jackson Howard, Jackson Howard being used now. I decide not to let him trash it, uh, but instead recover some of the some of the cards in here. Carson, you should have just flipped him off. Just flip Christian off. He needs it. I'm getting back the um, architect because I think it's like a very powerful card against um, uh, against somebody who kind of rec recurs a lot of parasites because it's immune to parasites. Yeah. And generally does something I want to do as HP. And then, yeah, I'm getting then uh, some more sexy bots. That's why not? Yeah. And who, who doesn't want to have sexy bots? I know. You have Janelle Monet and Jude Law. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, have you seen that new movie, Deus Ex, Ex Machina? No. That also has sexy bots. Wait, movie Deus Ex? Mm -hmm. It's called Deus Ex or, oh, or Ex Machina. Oh, yeah. yeah. I have not yeah. seen that yet, no. With, with hipster, uh, hipster... My mind is still uh, reeling. I watched Primer yesterday. So I'm oh, sitting man. here looking at this For game. For the first time? Like, yeah. I'm sitting oh, here looking at this game. I'm like, have you played this game like five other times? Is that how you know what's going on? Oh, maybe man, you need that, to create. Uh, maybe you need to rent another trailer so that you can make another. And I'm like, no. Oh God, recursive loops. No. So now we see an install advance advance in that scoring server. Uh, wow. Christian, I am proud of you in this game. Why? Because you slam the door shut on all noise, and you just don't care. You're like, whatever, bro. Uh, I am a bit of a honey badger situation right now. Yeah. Um, he installs a, um, a data sucker. That's just really good for him. Uh, but he's, we still don't see any breakers, and that's usually the case with those with those um, noise bursts. They usually have like a very compact breaker suite, usually involving something like uh, um, uh, Crypsis. Yeah. But now he installs a clot. Mm, don't think that, that I will be fast advancing anything any anytime soon. Uh, but I, it gives him a mill. And so that's nice. Yeah. And then finally, the Eve campaign runs out two and drawing a card. What will happen? Will I score that and then that through? No. <laughs> Who needs it? Advancing it twice and installing something additional in that server. Huh. Huh, Nick. You have screamed, come at me, bro. I mean, you're in the honey badger circuit now. So, anything right. could go. We see the clot being pawned for the pawn shop, so that's probably why he played it. He wanted to mill something, and he then it gives him additional money. Some a little bit. You know, I've been reading about uh, old Magic the Gathering tournament styles, and you know what I forgot existed? Hmm. The sidebar. Sidebar. It was a ten cards that you could carry with you that were not in your deck but could be alternated in. Sideboard. 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 Yeah. So. It's still. It's still there. Is it still there? Yeah. Oh, I haven't made it to present decks yet. 
Right at the present tournament style, yeah. They yeah, should it's still do there. That, it's something still like there. that for Netrunner. Yeah, people have been asking for this for a long time. Anyway, so things are happening. We see a sure gamble, and then we see an alt our data sucker. Mm. Nice. And then I'm scoring that agenda. The flam! The flam, it's a mandatory upgrade, so now I have four clicks in my turn, not just three. Nice! A six to agenda, and that is kind of like one of the hallmarks of Valdemar HB. If you can score this through, man, yeah. things get interesting. Although he, Carson, now has a clone chip, so I cannot fast advance stuff anymore. Never mind. Four clicks is still great. Yeah, who cares? You so are I now start. As, you've uh, embraced agile development. So I install in advance and what if? Come at me, bro. You're like, agile? That sounds great. So the cool thing about um, mandatory upgrades is also that in the round, in the turn that you score it, you get that click uh, in that same round. That's awesome. So uh, this is really great. So now you, get, you basically get a, a click immediately when you score it. And then he gets out the pancakes, uh, adjusted chronotype. So now his uh, white side that he has going on there won't cost him the click that it usually does. Yeah. That is probably one of the more fascinating cards I've seen come out for Netrunner in a long time. And then we see a Vujade for something, and this is going to be cash, and... Vujade. And a Parasite. Oh, a Parasite. Who's going to Parasite? A Heimdall? And then he installs the cash, milling even more stuff, really milling me hard, or milling me softly. I hope that the next agenda that you score is Corporate Takeover. That would be great. <laughs> like, whatever. Got All right, six so now I, it's, a four it's, it's, it's going to be difficult to count this. So uh, I'm advancing this three times. Uh, and that is the NAPD. And still have one click left. Uh, what will I do? So you're now at four. I'm four. And he's at two. Nice. Nice. Thinking what to do with my last click. Installing something in that server. Whatever. If it's not attacking me, then I can just score away. Yeah, I'm sort of surprised he's not trying something. I think he's uh, drawing hard with uh, with white set for to. He's looking for some kind of key card. For some and now he's running on R and D. Now he wants to get in there, and uh, he encounters the toll booth. <laughs> oh God! Is he losing three credits. Uh, I like this to toll booth splash in here. Yeah, they it's 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 really hard. There's two tolls in here, but yeah, he decides to. That's um, amazing. Of all the cards, a, that's good. Yeah. Tolbooth gets the parasite. That will take some time, but uh, yes, certainly a solution for the tolbooth. <laughs> God, so I'm waiting. I guess he just is having a, a trouble finding breakers. I think so. I guess he, Crips is his breaker and stuff maybe like David and stuff like that, but I don't think like, he's having trouble finding it. So he gets, instead he gets another imp. I mean, there's always this possibility, and that's really great about um, about noise. Even if you if uh, the corporation shuts you out, and there we see an APD score. Two for six. Uh, using, my using my entire turn for this. Uh, so if the corporation shuts you out, you can still go for the mill win. Uh -huh. And I think that's what uh, Mythos is doing. And I'm, of course, realizing this. But with four um, four credits in my in each turn, I I'm 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 fine. The likelihood that he can, yeah. I just need to score one more agenda. I'm at six points, uh, and uh, he was really under pressure. Uh, he even though he mills me so hard, um, the chance for of me getting an agenda through somehow is is pretty high. He can get the. Uh, Clot out if you want to fast advance something. Um, let's see about that. Let's see what happens. A second oh, parasite in that toll booth. Man, he really is unhappy. He really with that wants toll booth. that toll booth to go, man. Which you know, I would have. Yeah, I, I hope that he now sets it on fire. And he ran, runs on it, and he uses data sucker tokens to finish it off. He does lose three credits because he has to encounter it. Is that um, Hyrule two? I think it is. Oh I man, I want to see it. Res it. I want to see it. It's gonna do. It's gonna do so much. Oh, it is. It is. I'm oh. going down to one credit though. I think it's worth uh, it. Because are you gonna catch him? He clicks through uh, all of the things that is not brain damage, so he will have access. Oh, Kaisa is of the night. And you will see one card, and that is it. 
I guess it was a successful run for him because now you are poor, and you only have yeah. Like, counting cards the cards left. here, not not a lot of cards in here, like maybe ten, yeah. But he can't have that many viruses left. And I'm telling him like, if if I if you want to interrupt me, please tell me when I'm doing something, because now of course, ah yes, he actually gets out the clot. Nice. So I cannot score an agenda, and then of course it mills. Mm -hmm. And I'm installing another thing. So the clot, if you do people to remind, is that I cannot score an agenda, I install the same turn. So even though I have four clicks, I cannot uh, fast advance. Of course, I don't have enough credits to do so anyway. Yeah. But uh, the fact that I just reminded him, like that there's that he has to interrupt me, this guy made him, like I think, a bit nervous, and he got the clot out uh, prematurely. <laughs> Premature clot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because, you know, I cannot add fast advances anyway, so why, why would he do something like this? That's right. I am a 37-year-old man making premature ejaculation. Jokes. On the other hand, I mean, he doesn't know what I have. It could have been a um, uh, domestic sleeper, so all, all he knows. Yeah. So he, wow, he clo actually um, uh, pawns the, um, the clone trip. Uh, man, the clone. he must have plans. And I have I'm two uh, credits, so there's not much I can, not not a lot I can res anyway. Yeah. But I mean, honestly, you only need three credits. Yeah. So. And and now his his, his clone ship is gone, so he cannot like interrupt my fast advance anymore. Yeah. I wonder why he why he pawned I don't think he really needed that money. Considering it'd be really hard for him. Or for for you to do anything to stop him, he pretty much has free reign. All right, running on that that server, that is a pet campaign. What? He can imp it, but he decides not to. Oh, oh there man, he is. David! Been waiting David, for this all my life. David understands human emotions, and now we're gonna see a run on that scoring server. Oh man, I think he wants to see it. Uh, he g breaks the, the handle 2.0 with the David. I'm thinking about, about to res. Do I want to res? Uh, checking cards, checking costs of cards. This is a tense moment, if, if you, as you can imagine. Yeah. Uh, the ash. Resing that ash. Trash that ash, buddy. You got him to use his David. Good job. Oh. Uh, he breaks a trash, and that is oh the second card. It is a red herrings. <laughs> so it was an agenda after all. He spent a lot, just spent a lot of money and his entire David to get through all of this, and it was all just a ruse. <laughs> a clever ruse. A clever ruse. Oh man, this is a tense game. I can't take it. And he runs on my hand. Oh. No, no credits. Oh. No credits to rest anything. He accesses oh. an NAPD uh, um, pet campaign. He trashes the pet campaign with a with a with an imp. <laughs> oh, a car gets installed there. Credit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. oh. And getting to cre three credits. Three credits. Good job. Four credits and a card installed in the server. It's all gonna come down to this. Yeah. Carson has overexerted himself in the last turn. He thought he could, cl uh, could could close up this game, but it's not looking too good. Uh -uh. Uh, he gets out a clo uh, uh, cash, milling it another card. There's a lot of things in my uh, in my archives. Maybe there is a uh, winning a number of agendas in there. Nice. <laughs> and I'm saying to him like, man, this is actually very exciting right now. <laughs> And he's also laughing about this because it is a nail-biting, nail-biting game, ladies and gentlemen. My butt cheeks are clenched. Oh, the sphincter is it's just a oh. tiny little little pinpoint. Getting out the clone ship. No! Oh. Running on there. Run, Karsten. Run like the wind. Clone chipping back in the David. Nice. To break the, the Heimdall 2.0. Nice. 
I hope it's another red herring. Oh, he's got a corroder in his hand. That's funny. He decides to break just two separate teens and give himself a uh, brain damage. Honey badger table, living up to its name. Oh, it's uh, now it's now hand size is not as important anymore. No res anymore. But <laughs> ah! <laughs> mind games within mind games, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, jeez, you've oh, done it man. again, sir. No, but now, he, now his clown ship is gone, so he cannot. Yeah, I just he say, cannot you just clot anymore, and that is game. That is game indeed. That was exciting. Oof. Man. Oof. What a drama! What a drama! I hope that everybody was watching you guys rather than the upper tables. Man, there's hardly any ever anybody in the room because after an entire game of Netrunner, you're not you're usually not hanging around anymore for the for the top gates, and it's a mistake because this is where you get these kinds of exciting games, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, no kidding. This this game was awesome. Not a lot of cards left in my pile. Uh, really, like um, just yeah, just just an exciting. Like there were so many ways in which uh, Carson Mithras could have gone here, uh, yeah. won here, and that was a um, wrap around wrap around on the on the on the archives. That was a fantastic game. I am glad to have witnessed it. It was a that was a very fun game. I was kind of like down after the first game against against Propcho. Propcho played so excellently, and I thought like I was like you know, always had like this imposter syndrome. Like what I'm even doing here, you know? Oh yeah, I have that every day, every day of my yeah. life, every breath. Yeah. And so, but this game kind of like made me. Oh yeah, I, that was fun. I I was glad that I was here. Man, so this thank guy you. Loves Team Covenant. Oh my god. I I don't blame him. They do they do they do good things. Shout out to Team Covenant, guys. Yeah. Well done, guys. I, I appreciate what you do, even if I am not a fan of your your tokens. Exactly, that's the way it goes. Yeah. All right, guys. I hope you will uh, join us on our next game because we're going to continue through the through the fun brackets and we're going to continue following me through the fun fun bracket. The honey Let's see how long. Bracket. <laughs> Let's see how long I can keep this up, uh, and then later on we're going to continue, of course, to the cool bracket. Cool bracket. Mm. And we, you know what we're going to do, Nick? Now, uh, hurt the planet! Hurt the planet! Hurt the planet! Hurt the planet! Shut up and get in the car. Shit on me. This episode of Netrunner Team Orcast was created with a generous support from our listeners. If you enjoy the show and you can't get enough Netrunner videos, please check out our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash hacktheplanet.